Hi, Doug Masnagetti here with another guitar lesson. This one is going to be on Neil Young's uh, song, Turnsties. Uh, he released it in 1974, I think it was, uh, uh, on his On the Beach album. Um, as usual, I'll play a cover first, so you can see whether there's something you want to play or not, and uh, then I'll move right into the lesson. So uh, you can skip right on to the lesson if you want by just fast-forwarding a minute or two. Okay, have fun. Okay, you just listen to the cover of uh, Turnstiles by Neil Young, and uh, now I'll just do a quick lesson. It's a simple song, um, and uh, especially if you just strum the chords and don't and do all the noodling around uh, uh, on the, the lower frets of the strings. Um, so let me show you the chord progression. He, uh, he starts with a G, he goes to an F, he goes to a D, and he does that three times. And then... He moves to a C, and then to a G, and then to a D. Typically, he does that once. Uh, you can do it twice, and uh, and you can even sing the lyrics that go along with it twice, if if, if you like. So uh, let me just play that then. So you know, starting out with the G, F, D, F. contrast, so if you want to sort of move up to an intermediate kind of uh, uh, guitarist version of this song, you would uh, start putting in a little slapping around, a little noodling on these uh, lower frets. So um, let me just play what I do. I'll, I'll play it at speed real quick, and then I'm going to come back and play it really slow. Okay, 
so <clears throat> I start with the G and I just uh, I hit it once and I move to an open A open fifth string slap on your your uh, your finger onto the second fret you can use your index or middle I use my middle um, so sorry and, and then hit the, the fourth string straight to the F and I'm just all I'm doing is pulling this guy off and putting it back on I am some 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 of it is pull off or hammer on and, and some is not I'm, I'm hitting it and you can you got to be able to make that distinction you can I don't know it might help to look at my right hand here I don't know whether it gives you any clues uh, hard to tell on this little screen I got in front of me so uh, anyway uh, so you start out with the G and the, the D chord is where it gets interesting because you can do different things on different passes the other two chords the the F and the G I do the same thing every pass so, um, so here, uh, you can just simply hammer, uh, you know, lift your index finger on and off, um, for this one. So, you can just develop some little pattern. And I notice, I, I guess I do have a variation on the, on the F. I, I, I noticed at that time I... Just lifted my finger off and left it off, and then went to the D when I when I played that just a second ago. So uh, anyway, uh, up on the D chord here, so you can just, or you can do. string a few times so you get the idea that's all there really is to the song the only suggestion I would make is to to you know don't don't have too many different ways you go through the D uh, if you're trying to mix vocals in because uh, it, it makes it easier if you confine it to just a few different ways you do that because you get used to your voice coming in on a particular note you know when your fingers doing a particular thing your 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 motor skills sort of take your, your muscle memory sort of takes over for you so um, anyway, that's it. Have fun.